Hello, this is Wojciech Pietrzak in what may be my final OTSL game ever. A word of warning for the beginning. I am quite ill, I may be coughing and sneezing. If you are not ready for this, simply please turn the volume off. My opponent is James Yu, he has no chance to advance. I have about 20% chance of advance further, provided I win this one. Now, <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? Hmm. Let's come a little closer to European domination and headline CIA just to see what I can expect from him and to save Europe against coup. He has a decent rating, so I don't really understand why his record in ODSL is so poor. He came later, so he doesn't have 14 games as usual, but still it's the percentage what matters. Oh, And... Damn it! And he has one victory and seven defeats. Hmm. Right. Let's attempt coup. Oh! At least that was a lucky one. And he doesn't have too many very good cards. In particular, he has no cards which may attack France or Italy. Yeah, Korean War Nasser. Blockade is nasty because I probably have to hold it. At least un until turn. <laughs> Air 6, when he's likely to play containment. <laughs> Which means I have to deal with Vietnam revolts earlier, which in turn means that I have to put Fidel here, take it with US Japan, and well, this tower is either spaced or used to mitigate blockade. Knowledge of his hand is, however, something. In the Paki. Excuse me. I should remember about lowering DEFCON. <laughs> because I certainly don't want it to be kept at 3 and boosted to 4 once my opponent... Uh, once the turn ends, enabling my opponent some nasty things against Thailand. So, I have to space it now to be able to use Vietnam Revolts for a coup. Provided he doesn't coup anywhere. 
for example in Panama. I assume he's playing containment without human intervention now. Yeah, influence. And regretfully I'm gonna coon, although I'd like to have Laos Cambodia taken by this time. Especially that this gives him domination in Asia. But at least I'm lucky in cooing. <laughs> I got Asia scoring. And okay, this hand is also not convincing. But at least good enough to fight for some points. For like, <laughs> okay, I probably have to give up Middle East, but I may be able to save Asia. <laughs> if no independent threats now. Then Romanian abdication now. don't have too much power to fight for Asia, but I can do it to some extent. Okay, now I, for example, may use two. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but I don't have good two of cards. I think I'll space our Israeli war to deny him ops, uh, mill ops. But I'm extremely unhappy about the distribution of the cards at the beginning of this game. And yes, I had two ingenious roles, not as helpful as I'd like them to be. Keep rolling high. Ooh, la 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 la. At least fix. He failed to do it early enough. One region has to be kept. And oh no, I got Asia again. And I got Distal, and he got Decal. Uh, 
red scar or duck and cover? Duck and cover is not very nice and very useful because he needs to take care of Middle East anyway. On the other hand, with this he can counter with Deco, but yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. So I assume he also got defectors, but this is good that I didn't use actually duck and cover. Can I fight for Asia? <laughs> Maybe I can, because now I have ops and he doesn't necessarily have them. <laughs> yeah, but he had Deco. Oh. And nuked the test ban. Ooh. Okay, so... You can't get this match. And I didn't get any four, which would be advised, but nice to have. It's probably not worth playing Truman in to, excuse me, Romania now. On the other hand, it's worth fighting for Asia. <laughs> if he takes Afghanistan and Burma with the China card... Oh, he played just simply Middle East scoring. Allowing me to trigger Asia scoring like this and taking millups into account he's gonna be far ahead <coughs> <coughs> with VPs after this stage of the game so I think I Trigger war so packed to make NATO triggerable, especially that he even intervenes Marshall plan now, yep. And I'm not even convinced to wipe him off Romania. I think Truman would work much better as a threat. Hmm. I was too fast about Warsaw Pact. So let's attempt to wipe him off this subregion. Failed. Minus 12. This is very bad. But I got grain sales and this is an automatic play like right now. <laughs> and well, I have to take some risk to avoid being steamrolled because no regions look particularly good except Europe and Southeast Asia. And now Europe is no longer an exception. And in Africa, his cooing Zaire is enough to control and to gain a winning, a game winning advantage. To avoid this, I probably have to lower DEFCON. Even if it means... <laughs> 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 
even if it means allowing him to do messy things in Europe. On the other hand, I think I may safely play Missile Envy for the event. <coughs> And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> the nasty thing about my cards is that they used to give my opponent victory points. While victory points are something I can't really afford giving up. <laughs> Give me Nato, please. Well, of course, ABM treaty would be even better, but Nato would just sufficient. Oh, Brezhnev, hmm. So you don't have a four. Okay, so... should be defendable. Excuse me. <coughs> so let's attack him in two different directions at once. I should consider the fact that he may roll decently. No point in holding special relationship now that he doesn't have NATO. Queen once again. doesn't have you an intervention any longer now. So I really need to win this cool war. Damn it! I really need to win this cool war. Whew. This worked, but for how long? I don't have convenient cards any longer. Portuguese Empire crumbles. I won the score, okay. Portuguese Empire crumbles will have to be either spaced or. Uh, self mitigated. Let's space this one.
Oh, how bad it looks. Especially that I don't have two good cards to count on any longer. Okay, Africa is lost. Even if I play Portuguese Empire Crumbles, so I can play Portuguese Empire Crumbles to grab South America. So if I, even if I don't play Portuguese Empire Crumbles. <coughs> of course, damned, I got Africa, but I also got Kennedy. <laughs> Interestingly, Bird Trap does not have many decent targets. Sorry, for the voice of America. I feel this is the important moment. Because this hand is actually quite good. <laughs> okay, let's protect what's what belongs to us. I think I will use the China card for a coup because it's my best card to coup. <coughs> and this coup is in Algeria. Successful. <coughs> Assuming he successfully realigned Zaire. <laughs> he didn't. Oh. Okay, so let's go all in for this one. Damn it. I'm thinking about holding Kennedy right now. Spacing Arab Israeli, holding Kennedy and Kugmeyer. If I can score Africa. To gain one. And I have to fight for it, I guess. Mm -hmm, another space race attempt failed, so <coughs> crawling. I said no particularly good targets. some nasty realignments to some extent influential okay spacing uh, 
And with Sada, oh, no South America, Southeast Asia, mm. also damned. Influence. Hmm. I think I can regain this one. How I learned South America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from how I learned. And attempt to get best of all worlds from South America. Even for the price of activating Muslim Revolution. If I can score South American control and. Hmm. He's salting, Basque salting what? OPEC. Yes, and this is a GG. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Probably not in OTSL. I'm just eliminated from this season and I'm probably not going to participate in the next one. Oh well. Turn 6. Yes. I could have won this game had I uh, refused to play it at all because we were scheduled earlier and this game was unplayed for my opponents uh, reasons and they told us if it's not played I'm the one who wins by full feature but I prefer playing than winning by full feature and I didn't really care about who TSL come on play this move What's wrong with you? If you don't, I'm gonna escape from the 20 VP. Threshold. And then you might be punished for what you're just doing by not winning the game at all. This game sometimes punishes like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna forfeit this one. Perhaps. Well, maybe he lost connection, but still, excuse me for a mo moment. <coughs> well, finally. <laughs>